every one of you coming out tonight is a great to see this crowd, and it just motivates me for the last 33 days to go out there strong and win this election. And I got to tell you, Paul Anderson has been a fantastic candidate and partner. Patty as well. You guys have been working your tails off for this piece. And bring it back red here for this entire Senate district. So it's uh, really exciting. We have a lot at stake uh, for this election, and I know we always say that every election year, but this year is more important than most. If you look at the House, we are the only stopgap measure to what Governor David is doing. And if you just uh, need some examples, all you have to do is look at the current headlines. I mean, we've been paying severance packages out to a little bit of the season. We've been pay raises of 33% to people that are already making three-figure salaries. The guy has no about spending more taxpayer dollars. In fact, if he thinks that your taxpayer dollars are his own personal booster club to use for his political friends. And that's wrong. And that's why we need to elect Paul, that's why we need to elect Eric, that's why we need to elect Patty. We need to get all of these votes back into the community so they have a voice and your voice at the Capitol. So really appreciate you coming on tonight. I don't want to say any more than that because there's a lot of people talking tonight. But thanks again for all that you do to make this all that place to represent you. Sounded like a campaign kickoff to me. Right, our next speaker, uh, candidate for the House, uh, is short of stature. And with short people, that's, that's like the joke you get. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Because they, they can't understand anything beyond. Anyway, candidate for house, Patty Meyer. Come on up. Decorated their strollers, their way into the parade. 
And they are the next generation, and that's why I run. I'm running to make this a better place for those kids. Now, to the adults in the room, you are being called to do this. I think I can speak for Tara and Paul and myself that to get to the finish line, we need what we've needed all along. We need time, we need money, and we need boots on the ground. If we want to split the Senate, if we want to increase our majority in the House, as Sarah mentioned, this is the last barrier between Governor Gates and your pocketbook. If we want to keep Jeff as our only voice in Henry County, if we want to send Eric back to Washington, and if we want to keep the White House, we all need to get involved. Will you help, ladies and gentlemen? Help us do it. We are talking about the future of our country and our state. The election from the top of the ticket to the bottom is the most critical question of my lifetime. If the Republicans are not successful on November 8, 2016, and our conservative values go unheard, I'm afraid of the future, and you should be too. It's not just the GOP and the DSL rivalry. This is a turning point election for the life of America and Minnesota. People, we need to take a stand. We have 33 days to make a difference. It can be done. Paul, Sarah, and I will continue to do our best. But this is the team sport. Politics is a team sport. And I challenge each of you to put some skin in the game. As we move forward, please stop thinking that there's forces out there that are helping you. Our GOP is a long way from the DSL machine that wants to win at any cost. Now, everyone in this district needs to stand up and be heard. And I have a few things that you can think about doing. I want you to be committed. I want you to spread the word about us to your friends, your family, your neighbors, your co-workers. I want you to put a sign out. I'd like you to write another check to each of us. I want you to help stop the DSL machine with your paid workers and union money. I want you to volunteer 60 minutes a week to walk with us in the neighborhood or make phone calls. I want you to flood the newspaper with letters to the editor about the business that we're doing. I want you to follow us on Facebook and use your social media to spread the word. I want you to say yes to come to the Victory Center when they get off the vote call. I want you to talk to your elderly neighbors, help them vote early, drive them to the poll. I want all of us to be engaged in this process because I want all of us to be sharing in the victory in November. If we all believe that if we stand for what is right and needed in government today, we roll up our sleeves, we will be victorious. Meyer has openings on his roster. We are looking for rookies as well as pros, so please reach out and contact me. I'd love to have you.